Hey guys, LP here with your jump volleyball training tip of the week. This week we do something special. We're at, um, at the OVA Championships here in Waterloo. So this is the Ontario Volleyball Championships. We got the 15U and 16U girls here and the 17U boys playing this weekend. Tons of players around. And what I've done is I've asked some of those players what is the best tip that they got from their coaches this year. So that's what this week's video is going to be about. Now before I show you the answers to the question, I want to tell you that we're here also to promote our summer camps. Summer camps this summer from, from drum volleyball. We have four locations. Amqui, Rouen Aranda, Gatineau and Hamilton. Go check it out. www.jumpvolleyball.com for more information. And I am proud to announce that we just launched a podcast as well. So if you're into podcasts, just go into iTunes, look for Technical Timeout, and you will find our podcast. Subscribe, write and rate, and review it, and you'll be on the way to learn some great stuff about coaching. All right, so I'm not going to make you wait any longer. Here's all those players' answers for the best tip for this season. Hey, Ben, what's, um, what's the best advice or tip you got this year from your coach? Uh, stop my feet before I pass or set get set before I do anything mm, relax because I kept on panicking on service even on defense and that meant that I just I jam up and I couldn't get to the ball and so he just told me relax breathe in and then just let the ball come to you and put your your arms out as a platform and it, it worked pretty well just to like never give up and know that you can do anything like you don't give up no matter what if it's 24 to nothing, no matter what, you just keep going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, swing high off blocks, and that's basically it. <laughs> you don't watch the ball. If you keep your eye on the ball, you don't know where the what the hitter is going to do, either tipping or hitting wise. So if you're watching um, their arm swing, you know if it's going to be a tip or if it's going to be a roll or something like that. So. Great. Uh, awesome. Tactical tip is to always stay in front of the ball, always have your head in the game. That's it. Yeah. The best advice I got was to stay calm and not get frustrated when I screw up because I usually get frustrated when I screw up so yeah we're really working on an early platform when we pass so we're not kind of stabbing at the ball more of a nice and easy just up to the setter for me I'm a setter so then I always have to run to the net to get to the ball faster and so I can cut off the tight um, passes and stuff uh, you prepare mentally you, you visualize before you go in the game a perfect pass perfect set perfect hit and I uh, just keep going visualizing it Stay low when passing. Like we're always moving our feet and also like keep your eye on the ball when you're hitting the ball so you can like get a good contact on it. <laughs> the only thing that I really concentrate on is to just have my arms straight no matter where I'm passing it from. How um, I think just always be ready for the ball and move your feet. I think that's the most important thing. Gotcha. Teach me how to set because I am very tall and he taught me how to be quick to the ball and plant my feet and set up for a hit the hitter. Um, I guess always just trying to swing high because I know if you have good defense then you also need good offense too and then always swinging high no matter where the ball is and then stay low move your feet and keep your arms away from your body uh, moi c'est quand que tu une game pas mal bonne puis les points sont pas mal près de rester bien relax puis regarder la barre regarder tes positionnements de jeu puis uh, regarder les adversaires Don't jump when you're passing What? Um plant your feet and stop before you set when you're setting, keep your right foot forward so that you're square to the net and it doesn't go like all wonky. You always have to go for everything, no matter where it is on the court. If it's on the court or in your general vicinity, it's yours, no matter what. Hands in like the right position, and then like get underneath, and then have it right on here. So it goes up, and then nice pass. And then you can get an attack, and then you can win some points. Uh, when I'm going up for 51 with a big block in five, I just cut the ball sharp to two. All right, and how do you do that? I just thumb, put my thumb to the sky and swing. To just be aware of the block when you're swinging and to take a look first, it just gives me more efficiency when I attack and I score more often. Like when you're about to block, like make sure your like block is aligned up with the person's arm. And if it, it helps, if you can also kind of catch them and look them in the eye because it kind of trips them out. So, and it's fun to do because they, they, they looked you in the eye and they're just like, whoa. So it kind of freaks them out and it's fun to do for me. So.